16 of the best high school wrestling teams across the state arrived in Macon today for the GHSA Dual Team Championships. Six of those teams are from right here in Middle Georgia. In this week's Sports Spotlight, 40 with NBC's Tucker Sargent hung, it, hung out with one of the teams and he joins us now with more. When it comes to sports, most people think about the big three, football, basketball, and baseball. But those aren't the only sports going on in the world. In this week's Sports Spotlight, I take you to Jones County, where the Greyhounds wrestling squad showed me what their sport is all about. Coach Daniel Lewis started up a wrestling squad at Jones County 15 years ago. But he says no group he's coached has supported each other more than this one. Usually in wrestling, it can become a very individual sport. I mean, when you're out there, you're by yourself. There's no one there to help you. You can't, you know, uh, rely on somebody else to throw a block or whatever. I mean, it, it's you and that other guy and somebody's going to get their hand raised and somebody's going to get embarrassed. The top two teams from each area across the state advanced to the state tournament. Jones County beat out Northside Saturday for the top spot in area two. At the state tourney, the competition gets a little tougher. They're the 16 best teams in the state. It's somewhat intimidating. When you get in there, you're going to see at least 16 nights. It's just unbelievable. Just like any other sport, when you get down here on the mat, it's all about using proper fundamentals. Something Coach Lewis says it's important his team does this week in the state tournament. 90% of the time or 95% of the time, you're just trying to maintain a good stance and not get out of position where you can get yourself in trouble. You really want to try to match your opponent's level. That way he doesn't have the upper hand. Now to see which team has the upper hand in Georgia, just show up and watch. Until you've been to a wrestling match, you can't really appreciate just how exciting it can be, and especially when it comes down to those last couple matches and everybody's cheering for you know their teammates, and it, it can be uh, quite an environment. I'm praying that we can win the state championship so we all you know get a little taste of how it feels. But if we do, we do, and if we don't, I know we'll come back next year and compete. Now, East Lawrence, West Lawrence, Perry, Monticello, and Northside will also represent Middle Georgia in the tournament, which is being held at the Macon Centerplex. It kicked off today and runs through Saturday. For the full schedule and ticket prices, visit our website at 41NBC.com.